Hello, 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 math magicians. Let's take a gander at the practice quiz for review. So we're going to use any method to factor each, and I'll give you a hint, is always check for the GCF first, the GCF, greatest common factor. All right, so let's look at this one here. y squared plus 11y plus 28. And what can I do with that? Well, let me check for GCF here. Uh, I see a Y here and a Y here, but I don't see a Y over there. So there's no Y to extract. And notice this has a one, and the other coefficients or constants are uh, have no other common factor except one. So I'm going to set this up with a snowflake. Remember that A times C, so 28, goes on top. B goes on the bottom, B goes on the bottom, and Y's in my wings. More specifically, it's a 1Y, but I don't need to write that. Okay, now I ask myself what two numbers multiply to 28 but add to 11. So if you need to make a quick list of things, notice that 28 and 1 don't work, too large. Uh, 14 and 2 are still too large, that's going to end up being 16. So let's see, 7 and 4. There we go. 7 plus 4 is 11. So notice what we have. Y plus, excuse me, Y plus 7. And then over here, a Y plus 4. And there we go. And we factored it. Notice that I did show my work over here, so please make sure to show some sort of a work like that. All right, let's look at problem number to factor this completely. And I'll give you a hint is usually when it says completely that implies that there's probably going to be a GCF situation coming up. So notice that each one of these has at least one X that I can pull out. So let me start with that by factoring out the X. And when I do, each term divides by X, so I get X squared minus 9X plus 20. So now I'm going to temporarily ignore this x, or rather I'm going to bring it down, and I want to find out what the other factors are, what the other factors are here. So I'm going to take what I wrote in black there, and I'm going to snowflake that. So a times c is 1 times 20, so that's 20. b goes on the bottom, so negative 9, and my x's go in the wings. Now, of course, we ask ourselves this question, what two numbers multiply to 20 but add to a negative 9? Because of the negative 9, both of these have to be negative. Why? Because negative times negative is positive, but negative plus negative is still negative. So now we ask what two numbers multiply to 20 and add to negative 9, and uh, we see that 5 and 4 work here. So one of my factors is x minus 5, and one of my factors is x minus 4. And there we go. And so this is what I commit to as my answer, my factored form, or I factored this completely. All right, continuing on, let's take a gander here at number 3. So I check for GCF first, a 3. This is not divisible by 3, so I can stop there. x, x, but no x there, so I'm done. Okay, so now just come over here and snowflake. A times C is negative 30. B goes on the bottom. Now I'm going to put 3x in the wings. Remember what we're doing is that we're putting this component right there in the wings. So 3x. Next, I ask myself the question, what are the factors of negative 30 that sum to 13? So might take a moment to do that. So one of them needs to be negative. And the smaller one the smaller looking number should be the negative. Why? Because when I add the larger minus the smaller there, I should still get a positive. So, all right, so this doesn't work. That's too, uh, too large. So next up is 15 and negative two. Oh, there we go, 15 minus two is 13. So now, this right here, and I'm gonna clean this up just so that we can see things a little bit uh, easier. All right, now we have to divide. Notice that pretending this is a fraction, 3x over 15, what can I divide by? Well, both of these divide by 3, so we get an x over 5. And over here, 3x minus 2, those stay as is. So those are my two factors. So let's go ahead and write that in factored form. x plus 5, 
and then 3x minus 2. Now I'm just going to pause real quick just so that I can double check my work, right? So x times 3x is 3x squared, x times negative 2, and then 5 times 3x, 15x minus 2x is 13x, and then 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So always check. It's wise for you to do that. And let's continue. Factor completely. Like I said before, the hint is completely means there's probably a GCF. Not always, but I found that to be very common. So notice here that I can divide this by 2, 3, or 6. I can divide this by a 3, and I can divide this by a 3. So notice that it looks like I'm going to factor out a 3. Also common in all of this is an a in everything, a to the power of 1. So I'm going to divide everything by a 3a. In doing so, I get 2a squared minus 7a minus 15. Now, I'm going to bring down that 3a. Remember, that's part of my factors, but I'm temporarily ignoring that. And then I'm going to have a factor here, and I'm going to have a factor here. So let me now take the component that I wrote in black and snowflake that. 2 times negative 15 is 30. B goes on the bottom. Two a's in the wings, like so. And then we ask ourselves this question, what multiply to this but adds to this? Clearly, one of them needs to be negative. So one of them is negative. The other is positive. Um, so 30 and 1, that doesn't work. So 15 and 2, that doesn't work. Um, 6 and 7, that doesn't work. Uh, oh, here we go. 10 and negative 3. Oh, I got that one wrong, though. So let me double check positive and negative there. Here we go. So let me clean this up so it's a little bit easier to see. We have a negative 10 there, a positive 3. Notice it doesn't matter, again, where you write these. The key is as long as you simplify properly. So notice that this here can be reduced by 2, so I end up with an a over a negative 5. All right, so now I have a minus 5 here. And then the other one is 2a plus 3. And this is, I'm now factored completely. And you can always double check there. The last problem we're going to look at is more of a word problem. The area of a rectangular pat patio is 3x squared plus 17x plus 20 feet squared. If the dimensions of the patio are factors, what is the perimeter? All right, so we can factor this real quick, and then we're going to try to find out what the perimeter is. Just a heads up here, remember that whatever I get right here, so A times B here, that's going to give you the area. But to find the perimeter, we have to do A times A plus B, A plus B plus A plus B. So once we find the dimensions, we're going to add them up all the way around. Okay, now um, let's go ahead and snowflake this right here. Check for GCF. Notice this doesn't divide by 3, so I don't need anything else to. Uh, there's no other factors there that work. 60, 17, 3x in the wings, like so. So let me see. 60 and 1 don't work. Um, 20 and 3 almost work, but uh, that's a little bit too big. Uh, 30 and 2, that doesn't work. But let's see. 15 and 4. That doesn't work. And lastly is 12 and 5. Oh, so 12 and 5 work. Now you could have used your calculator, and I would suggest using a calculator, because maybe you didn't know that 60 um, can be divided by 12 or something like that. All right, now we factor, or excuse me, reduce each side here. So this one here is an x and a divide by 4 to get, excuse me, by 3 to get x and 4, and then 3x plus 5. So it seems as though this here is x plus 4, and then this over here is going to be 3x plus 5. There we go. Now we're not done because it does ask us what the perimeter is. So the perimeter is going to be the sum of all the way around. Remember there's another x plus 4 here and another 3x plus 5 over here. 
So there are two ways to do it. You can just add them all up, or you can say two of these plus two of these. Doesn't really matter how you do that, but two of the three plus three x plus fives plus two of the x plus fours, like that. Now finishing this up here, we get six x plus 10 plus two x plus eight, combine like terms, these two are like terms right there. Don't, don't forget that plus there. So we get 8x. And then these are like terms, the positive 10 and the positive 8, 18. And so the answer is 8x plus 18 feet. And there we go. Not very satisfying, I understand, but that is how we do it. If you have any further questions, please email me. Thank you very much.